Hey guys, and welcome to another quick Merch by Amazon tip and trick. I am your host, Steve. Tonight, we're just talking about a basic tip, which I really, really, really want all you new Merch by Amazon sellers to just drill through your mind. Slow down. When you're, when you're, when you're doing these uploads to Amazon, you have to take this stuff really seriously, guys. I know, I know I sound crazy tonight. But it's for real. You don't want to be getting multiple, multiple, multiple rejections because you could get your account in trouble. Trouble. You could get suspended. You could lose your account. So um, each tier, like tier 10, tier 100, tier 500, each tier has their own um, rules as far as how many rejections you can get. And, and keep in mind, everything's at Amazon's discretion. They can do whatever they want. It's their business. Um. But anyway, guys, you want to just be making sure that you uh, keep that all in mind and just slow down. You want to, you know, you don't want to be uploading this stuff wicked fast. Um, first of all, when it comes to your design, whatever it is, you have two options. You can either do a computer animated design with royalty free images or you can um, do like a mix of both. I like to do sometimes mix of both through like some royalty free images and mix it with some hand-drawn art, which is actually very unique and kind of fun. Um, i actually give you an example of that. I have a rabbit shirt that's half drawing, half uh, computer animation. I'll put that in the description so you guys will have an example of what that half and half looks like and how those two styles meet. Um, guys, it's been a lot of fun being on March by Amazon. Have I gotten rich from it? No, actually, I've been in the hole. I've kind of been in the hole the last couple months. Um, I didn't have a good Christmas at all. I think I sold six shirts um, in December. January was even worse. I think I, I think I literally sold like two shirts last month to the public. So guys, this has been really a hard season for me. Um, I've actually spent more on ads the last couple months than I've actually made in royalties. Um, I think it's been like right around a hundred dollars a month I've spent on ads. But you have to kind of invest in these businesses, right? I think that's why my I think that's why my business is doing good, even without ads. Um, like I shot ads off today, and I still sold two shirts today. So, guys, part of it is believing in yourself. But the second part is, you know, when it comes to your finished um, image for your shirt, whatever it is, um, you want to go through it with a fine tooth comb. Is there any errors in the in the illustration? Is there any errors in the picture? Is there any errors in whatever characters or animals, whatever you have in it? Um, you want to really like zoom in and really check it really well, guys, to make sure there's no errors. Because otherwise, you're going to have to delete the design. I mean, I'm so picky about my designs. If there's any flaws at all, I will literally delete it and go back to the drawing board and do it again. Because I'm trying to keep that good image for my my brand, you know what I'm saying, and uh, keep everything legal. Um, I right now I do use uh, Canva royalty free images; it's perfectly legal. I have a pro account with Canva, so I can use all those images free and legally. The royalty free images. So, um, guys, Merch by Amazon is a lot of fun, you guys. Um, the, the good thing about Canva, and I don't work for them; I'm not an affiliate or anything. I just use it for Merch by Amazon, but I have a, a pro account so I can do that, you know, background remover, which you want to do background remover if you're going to upload shirts, but you can get the background remover with Canva pro account. So that's a lot. That's really cool because that saves you a lot of time. Otherwise, you, you dig through the Internet, which they don't do it for free anymore. Um, the only free website they had that I could think of. Um, I mean, I'm sure you could do it for free out there, but you have to put your email in. You have to do all this and they want to contact you and stuff like that. Um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. So I got a pro account for Canva. And again, I don't work for them or anything like that. I just, um, I'm a big fan of it. Um, they let you use your, their royalty free images for your designs. As, as long as they're royalty free right on Canva, you can use them in your merch by Amazon designs. Um, I also like to draw my own des I have uh, several shirts that are hand drawn that I actually draw myself. Like my monkey shirt was hand drawn. Um, so anyway, guys, that's tonight's tonight's, you know, rant. We're only, we're almost like five minutes, which is perfect for a video, right? Cause I don't want to lose you guys, but tonight's main tip guys is just really slow down. The first, the first part would be check the illustration, in the picture of your shirt with a fine tooth comb, zoom in, make sure there's no errors. Otherwise you're going to have to delete it, go back to the drawing board and then re-upload. 
Second part of slowing down. What am I using for keywords in my title, my tags, my description? You want to be going to trademarkia.com. That's what I use. And I'm not an affiliate with them. That's what I just use in my personal merch, my Amazon account. I go to trademarkia. I run that for trademarks. Um, if there's any if there's any trademarked words, guys, that are coming up as registered trademarks, then don't put that in your shirt. You could easily get flagged. Um, there's some ways to go about it, but you've got to be extremely careful, guys. And you get you have to make sure that if it's trademark, you're not uploading it. So if it has any trademark hits, do not upload it. You could get rejected. Um, guys, so that's so that's the second part. So the first part was the illustration. The second part is the keywords and running it through trade through uh, trademarkia.com to check for trademark. And you can use, I think the other one is like USPTO or something like that. I forget. But there's another one that you can go to and check trademark. Um, if there's any hits for a trademark, you know, it'll say like active trademark, then don't put that in your shirt. Um, so, so, so guys, when you finally get the listing, you get the, the perfect title, the perfect description, the perfect tags with all those high search keywords, which I'm going to have a link for Helium 10 in the descriptions. You can check out all their keyword tools with a discount from Helium 10. I'm a Helium 10 affiliate, man. I'm a jack of all trades. Um, you guys can check out my merch in the description. You can get a shirt if you guys, you know, get your tax return. You could add to cart maybe for when you get your tax return and get a t-shirt to support the channel. But guys, thank you so much, so much for tuning in. So once you get everything done, guys, then you're going to want to look at the listing before you publish it. Just look it all over. Make sure that, you know, you've added what sizes, men, women, kids, make sure those are checked off. Make sure the colors are checked off. I try to use like maximum 10 colors every time. Why not? It's just more business you can get. Men, women's youth, 10 up to 10 colors. So you see how this is all stuff you just really got to quickly just edit and just make sure you've hit on every aspect. Otherwise, you're going to have to redo the listing. A lot of times you can't edit some of this stuff. Sometimes you can edit it. But uh, do you see how, do you see the, the uh, goal of slowing down, guys? Slow the F down and you're going to be more successful on Amazon. I'm Steve. I'm a merch by Amazon designer. I am on tier 500. Um, I'm just enjoying each day on March by Amazon guys and just remaining positive. Yes, I was in the hole. Yes, I only sold like six shirts to the public in December, two shirts to the public in January. But my brand name, Faith Rising, uh, F-A-I-T-H-R-I-Z-I-N-G, all one word, is about not giving up. And that's what I'm not, that's what I'm doing, guys, is I'm staying the course with my brand. I'm not giving up. And like I said, guys, I shut PPC off today and I sold two shirts. So the brand is gonna is gonna just um, grow like a little tree. Anyway, guys, subscribe if you haven't like this video. Check out my Helium Ten discount in the description. Till next time, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am your host, Steve, and hope you guys sleep like babies. Bye.